Hey there guys, this is Jeffrey with Good Lawn Care. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. Um, Got to go out. We had a little dusting basically, maybe a half an inch of snow. I got to go up to the church and take care of that. Uh, probably came and see me. It's so dark out here in the, in the garage. But uh, the joys of snow removal. I said in a video a couple days ago, I don't really work on Sunday, which I don't, other than snow. Well, here it is. This is the snow. So, anyway, I got to get the backpack blower into the back of the truck and head up there. It'll take me five minutes to get there, and I'll be there for three minutes blowing it off, probably. And then I'll be back home. But the joys of doing it. I'll just get some footage of it all. Here we go. Head out. I got a remote start on my truck, which is great, but uh, it's still 
so cold out here, it doesn't matter. Still takes, you know, probably a good, um, in this type of weather, probably who knows how long get it going. We'll see if that stays there, if you guys can see me. Probably can't hear me, though. But we'll head out. Uh, I didn't scrape it very good at all. But, uh, well. Now let's see what the temperature shows. Mine says minus six. Minus six outside morning that's very cold so how many of you guys have to do this how many of you do a property i mean a lot of you do properties where you're going and uh it's like zero zero tolerance i don't know what they call it you know uh it doesn't matter you have to go do the parking lot every time it snows Okay, this is the only one where I'm doing something like that, where it's a, uh, a church or a, a business, okay, where it has to be done every time, no matter what. Well, that's what happens here. It has to be done uh, pretty much every time, unless we don't have church or something. Now, granted, uh, this is just the front sidewalks. There's another guy that does the plowing, but... Uh, I do just the sidewalks and I did them two days ago when it snowed to two inches and it was a light dusting and actually I used the backpack blower then the BR 700 by steel but uh, that's what I'll be using today again but the only uh, difference today it's just very very light I mean it's enough you can walk on it's no big deal but I just do and make sure there's no ice underneath there I don't there wasn't the other day but uh, just kind of a safety concern more than anything just to be be cautious basically so uh that's why i go and do it it really doesn't need to be done probably but uh i feel it should be this is the front of the church hardly anybody ever comes in that way pretty much everybody comes in the back and because that's where the parking lot is and uh so it we just do it to do it but uh there will be occasionally a few people, but that's more like in the summertime when the weather's nice. People park out in the street and then they come in that way. But uh, when the weather's cold like this, there's hardly enough people, you know, coming out that anybody's going to park out there. But uh, still, it's best to get it off. You don't want it to turn to ice. Now, uh, I'm almost up here already, but there's only, uh, I've met no cars, um, which isn't surprising because who wants to be out in this weather so this is the joys of winter time in central illinois in the midwest and it is going to get a lot worse uh they're saying on wednesday now i was just looking at the weather channel uh they're the they're giving the coldest of anybody but they were saying 13 below as the high on wednesday and I happened to look, and our all-time record in uh, Peoria, Illinois, is uh, 16 below for the record high temperature on a day. And that was, I forgot the year. I want to say in the 40s or something like that. But uh, that's insane. Insane. So uh, if that happens, we're going to set a record. We will set a record. That'll be crazy. Well, guess what? I'm going to just leave the truck running here and we'll get some footage of this. So there you got it. He did the parking lot and the down through there. Now we just have to do this. And like I said, it's not a whole lot. Well, let's get this out first.
we got it. I think we got it all done. I'll check a couple more spots. I see we're at 16 and a half minutes I should be home by about 20 minutes if we keep this up but I always do drive around to the back just to make sure by the back door everything looks good uh, oh man I ought to go in there there's a spot in there where they come out with the garbage and then they gotta walk through the snow. I'll maybe get that later. Um, the only reason I say that, that I should do that, is because um, a very special lady cleans her at the church and she has to walk through there then to put the trash out. And that's my mom. So uh, she'd probably appreciate it if I did that. But I'll do it later when I come back to church because I don't want to get out now and get the blower out again because that takes too long you guys saw that setup that I have with the blower hold on I gotta better put my seatbelt on probably you guys saw that setup I have there you know I got that uh, cargo carrier on there and I don't know if I've ever showed that before that is I'm sorry I sound like I'm out of breath or something but I think it's just the cold air taking my breath away. And I should have worked Carhartt's, uh, you know, to pull it on the pants. Normally I do, but I didn't want to get them all on. But man, my legs are cold, and they usually don't get cold. But uh, anyway, um, back to what I was saying, you saw that cargo carrier, and I used that for the snowblower. Um, ever since I got this truck, it's a Chevy Silverado 2500. It sits a little higher than my 1500 used to. And uh, with the 1500, I think it wasn't that high to to lift um, uh, the snowblower up there. It didn't bother me, you know, to lift it. But uh, with this, it's I'm it's a little bit higher. The truck sits higher. I'm short. I'm only five foot six, and so that hurt my back too much. I'm strong enough to do it, but it hurt my back just kind of bending backwards. You know so I don't do that anymore that's why I bought that cargo carrier put the snowblower on there and then just haul it around town and take it off a lot easier and that way the bed of my truck then too I can keep that uh, tunnel cover tonneau cover however you say that closed and keep like the backpack in there and keep uh, other stuff you know I need to keep in there whatever it may be so that's what I do and um, that's just the way it goes. Keep some gas in there and all their stuff. But uh, anyway, my brain is not functioning this morning. I feel like uh, I can't even talk right. But uh, it's just the weather. I, I always tell people I don't mind cold weather. And I don't, as long as I'm working and moving. But uh, this type of cold that we're gonna, that we're going to experience is, uh, is just brutal. Yeah, I don't think there's any way... Um, you can get used to this unless we had it for like three weeks straight or something but uh it's just uh way too cold i mean come on what you're talking 
<clears throat> 10 below is a high. I mean, that is like uh, 40 degrees below normal. And that's just absurd. I'm, you know, I'm worried about pipes freezing and things like that. I hope nothing happens to anybody I know or to anybody for that case. But, I mean, that's just awful. So, I don't know. Um, scary. It's kind of scary, matter of fact. But, uh, i got to back up here. I'm home. And I'll put this away. And I'll be signing off. But, hey, I just wanted to give you guys a taste of, uh, what you got to do sometimes and this is it right here now that uh work there i mean it's super easy but the fact is you got to get up and do it and that takes uh some time and effort and when it's sunday morning and you'd rather be sleeping in then uh <laughs> you got no choice but to go out so sleep in on those nice uh warm days guys on sundays that's what i do you know when it's like uh 70 outside and uh you're not mowing because you got it all done during the week and because you don't mow on sundays so that's when you get to sleep in but when it's nice and cold you got to go out there all right I'll get some footage here maybe of unloading and then we'll see what a total round trip is on this oh man i wish you guys could see that shoot there's some deer walking down there right in the middle of the street hey let's let's see about this here i'm gonna have to drive slow but they're gonna take off and run probably be too late time i get there but three three does walking across right in the center of town let's see if we can get them right down in this low spot right up there oh he just ran around the back of that house where's he gonna go to hmm. turn around here in this driveway it's like they went right behind this white house here there's a fence over there, but I know he didn't jump that fence. So where did he go? There's three of them, three does. I bet they're back behind the house. That's so weird. Let's say come up here through the woods. But well, we see that around here from time to time. See, uh, see deer right through here because there's some woods right to the the south and then there's a lot of coyote around here a lot of coyote too but anyway that was just a little side note there i wanted to catch them but i didn't get them jeff just take my word for that but there were three does going across one time we saw a huge buck that thing was humongous and he was going right through the neighborhood i couldn't imagine uh hopefully it never happens but i got a a very good size uh front window here in my house and i'd hate for uh one of those to come through it so i mean it's glass and uh, pretty clear hopefully that never happens but hey um now that i wasted some time now we're about 23 and a half minutes here but let's uh unload this Uh, guys tell me your comments below how many of you have uh, days like this where you got to go out and do something that's basically takes more time just to get moving Uh, okay, there they were. So there's like a, a horse farm over this way behind those houses. If you can see like the sheds through there. And then there's a bunch of fence 
or not fence, but woods back in there. And I just saw them going along those woods. So they came along that fence and then they went back there into the woods. So they didn't jump the fence or nothing. But uh, I could see some white tails back in there. I'm sure you wouldn't be able to see with the camera here. But that's what they were doing. They don't mind the cold, I guess. I got everything done we're at 26 minutes and there's the real footage real time right there guys all right hey have a good one it's been Joffrey with Goose Lawn Care we'll see you in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe if uh, you enjoy these videos hey take care hey take care